50-34, you had momentum, you had energy, you run down the breakers and get back into it. What did you see in the third quarter across the Hawks? Uh, we couldn't get a foul call. No. Only that or more? Oh, no, not only that, of course not. That's, that's just being a baby. But, um, but I want to make that point clear. You know, it's ridiculous. Um, it's been ridiculous all year. Uh, it is what it is, though. I mean, it's what happens when you've got young talent. You know what I mean? Like, um, the first foul came with a minute 30 left in the third. Yeah, aware of it. That's why I'm, you yeah, know, it's just a bit annoying. You know, I thought, I thought that way. Uh, but no, no, no way am I going to sit here and say um, that reason. But when you're playing um, with, with what we're playing with right now and what we're dealing with right now is we need luck. And the whistle seems to be um, a, a luck thing right now. So, um, so but definitely, uh, there's, I've never made an excuse sitting here with you guys ever. But the, the luck of the whistle, we, you know, was sort of that. Then I thought, I thought we didn't get any stops. Um, that way, I thought we got stops and we were able to generate our offense. Um, you know, and it got a little bit bit stagnant there, which is our fault. No one else is doing. Um, you know, but um, right now, with what we're rolling out right now and what the guys are trying to do, we had a couple of guys sick as well, which you know, again, is is what it is. Is we we just needed we just needed a little bit and a uh, little bit of luck go our way in that third. Um, you know, and 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 for sure, you can blame. Uh, the players and blame the coaching as well, but in this stage is is there's there's a part of that where we, we sort of needed a call. Sam, how frustrated were you in that third quarter? The team has 50 points in the first half, and nine points in the third quarter. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of what Jake said made it hard to get it over half court, and then a lot of those turned into turnovers, and they run down your throat, and just you know it's their momentum builds and ours stops. And um, I mean, it's frustrating, but. It's how it's been called all year, and we've got to find a way to play through it. We've got one more chance at it. Not to harp on it, Jake, but 30 trips to the power on to 13. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but is that, at this point, when you've asked so much of this group that's been so on the man, like you said, we're looking at on the floor, do you feel it's starting to tell them the guys those knocks are a bit harder for them to do by now? Yeah. Those top yeah, look, I, I like, like, in regard to that is, I've said what I needed to say about it, and, and that way is, is and, and, and when I say putting out on the floor is, is, is just not so much what we're putting out on the floor, what we don't have, you know what I mean, is more so. So the guys that are on the floor battling, yeah, I'm not going to ever say a bad thing about them, you know what I mean, at, at all, as nor should anyone else, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, I mean, it's been, a, it's been a while now. Maybe I am frustrated. You know what I mean? Maybe it's getting to the year. Maybe we're all fatigued. And maybe this is an Im immature comment that I'm making right now. But I looked at it. I looked at the foul count at, at three-quarter time. And I looked at the free, fr free, throw, th free throw thing. Is, and we got, I mean, we, I mean, we didn't shoot a lot of threes or anything like that. So, yeah, but I could be wrong too. You know what I mean, in regard to the, the free throw, free throw, I could be wrong, but it just didn't seem normal. Well, just more generally, just to the players of the game, it's been so many tight losses that you guys have had, guys have really played by themselves in the end. It just, you feel it's just starting to, the runs are just starting to run the guys down a little bit? Yeah, I, I don't think so, because we came back in, I thought we came back in and we had a chance to win. I know it was 10 at the end and we fouled, you know what I mean? But I thought after the run, the original run in the third, where we weren't very good either, you know what I mean? So let's get that clear and let's not blame other people for what we are. But, but, um, but what I would say is that I thought we did bring it back in the fourth. So that's to answer that question is, is the thing is right now is, is in this patch of time where it doesn't all go our way, you know what I mean? Um, we do need, you know what I mean? It, it is where, and I've said it before, is you sort of need a pro. You know what I mean? Like a guy, and now Sam's maxing out. Tyler's obviously maxing out with multiple guys on him. You know what I mean? We, um, they made great adjustments in the second half, I thought. I thought the coach did a great job. You know what I mean? Our adjustment's a little bit harder because we're a bit limited with our, with our firepower. But I don't know if the guys are quitting. I don't know if the guys are doing what you're saying is. I just think, it, I think it's really hard and it'd be really easy right now to just, you know, it's, it's done. 
You know what I mean? Is and the way they 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 were trending at pra the way practice has been and that it's been it's been good. You know what I mean? It hasn't been great, but it's been good. And I just think that I think that we're getting their best. And the the, pr the, pro the problem is is when we walk into that room at the end, we sort of th if we were, said this at the beginning of the day without Mango, without the out, and we lose by ten to a to a loaded New Zealand team and a hungry New Zealand team that's fighting for second position. Yeah, you know I mean that he's fighting for second position, and we lose by ten. Everyone in the room before the game would go, "Oh, that's pretty good," but we could have won. You know what I mean? And that's why everyone in the room is disappointed. Is there some relief, Sam? I don't know if that's the word for it, but you just got to reach out for one more effort now. It's at home, all that type of thing. I mean, it has the feeling going into this one last sort of stand that he gets a future line. Yeah, I mean, I want to keep playing. That's you know, that's, that's what we're here for. It's what we love to do, but. Um, I mean, it is our last one, and it's, you know, if, if it's pride as players and us as men for us to come out, if we can get one at the end, you know, that's, that's going to end our season on a good note. And it'll send, uh, we want to send Timmy and um, Kevo out on a win. Like, I don't, want, I don't want that, like, it's been a rough year, but, you know, for them, at least if we can finish on a positive note and for us, and, you know, maybe start to build a little bit of momentum into the next year. Um, which I mean, we have, and we're playing hard. But you know, to get one more is uh, we're going to try and do it for sure. Sam, I know we're concentrating on the loss. Oh, sorry, the second half, 57 to 31, because of the loss. But at half time, you're 50 34 leaders. You had energy, you had excitement. So talk to us about that. What, what was working? Why was that such a good half? Yeah, I mean, we were getting stops. It's kind of what they did to us in the third quarter. Um, we got stops. We run it down their throat. We got a lot of transition. And when we play like that, we look good. Um, and so then they kind of turned that on us in the third and they started to do that and we struggled a bit. Um, but yeah, that was probably a big, big part of it. Yeah, as I mentioned, you started wrong, you couldn't finish it. What will be the threat for the final game, Jason, with the boys? Um, I think that rest is, rest is really important. I don't, um, you know, we'll go through, we'll do some video tomorrow and um, you know, again, is our um, as as bad as the record is. Is it's uh, it is it is still fun game day. You know what I mean? It's not like we're coming in and and doing that. And and um, we'll um, you know we'll throw our haymakers again. All we got is one more effort. So uh, we'll put a little plan in. You know, by this time of the year, you've played everyone so many times that you sort of know what's going. You know, it's not that big a deal pre preparation with it. You know, there's sort of that way got one more day and then we roll back in it on Saturday and hopefully, you know, hopefully we've got a bit crowdy. You know what I mean? Is um, I mean, I'm just hoping we're playing well enough where the fans will come out and, and they ent and they enjoy the, the games at least. You know what I mean? You know, imagine the Jack Chappers could be a little tight, they're playing to finish as high as possible. Do you just feel like it's a free swing of the bat? Just go out there and have fun, Sam, and play the best basketball we can and basically the Jack Chappers shouldn't feel too comfortable coming in here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's what kind of the second half of the season has been for us and we're playing hard and um, you know we've got a young group that does that and I think we've done that pretty consistently by a couple games through the whole year so this this is the last one we got I mean we got no excuses like we're going to go out and compete and we gave them a little run last time and I don't see why we can't beat them um, we just got to produce four quarters cool Chris oh. Yeah, sorry, can I just ask, ask something quickly, Sam? Um, it's been a horrible week, horrible couple of weeks for, for you and the family. I mean, how, how have you been able to hold up and, and maintain a focus on basketball over the, the past couple of weeks? And, and secondly, how's, how, how is Harry going? Yeah, he's, uh, he's recovering. Um, he's out of hospital now, which is good. Um, but, I mean, these guys have been super supportive. Straight after that Perth game in the morning, I, I, went, I went up to Brisbane and spent a couple of days with Harry. Um, which was nice to see him. Um, I, I mean, it has been hard. It was, it was a scary couple of days, but uh, we're kind of over that now. And now it's just letting that process take care of itself. Um, and yeah, and then the basketball, I mean, it's, it's, it's an escape. You know, you, when you're on the court, you don't think about anything like that. So, yeah. Uh, thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.